This is the Suburban Radio Hour on CJD 800. And now we go to our weather specialist, Stephen Bellina. Steve, what's been going on and what we got for this week? Good evening, Montreal. I'm Stephen Bellina, and this is the Suburban Weather Minute. Spring threw us a curveball last week as a big winter storm moved up the eastern seaboard, uh, pushing snow and strong winds into the St. Lawrence Valley. Uh, when I was pre-recording this segment last week, that storm was not even on our radar. Shows you how quickly winter storms can develop in the month of April. Not unusual. Uh, what is unusual is the type of winter we've had, the fact that our two biggest snowstorms occurred as bookends, December 3rd and 4th when 35 centimeters fell, and of course on April 3rd and 4th when we had in excess of 20 centimeters. The snow caused lots of problems. There were numerous accidents on area roads. And several school boards decided to close for the day. Additionally, almost 290,000 Quebec homes and businesses were left without power due to the weight of the snow uh, on tree limbs, which came in contact with the power lines. Believe it or not, the high on Wednesday was 10 Celsius. Temperatures dropped quickly on strong northeast winds and the rain turned to snow Wednesday night and we were left with the mess on Thursday. The silver lining to all this is that high pressure is now moving into the area. Skies are going to clear out. They have cleared out this weekend and we are looking at a brilliant day tomorrow for the solar eclipse. Let me, let me remind you, sunglasses do not work. You need eclipse glasses. The eclipse begins at 2.14 in Montreal, ends at 4.36 totality will be reached at 327 lasting about a minute and 30 seconds it'll be a spectacular event a once in a lifetime so if you can get out there and see it do so i will be i'm looking forward to it very excited about it so again totality at uh at 327 for about a minute and a half and i'm going to wrap up tonight by talking about the month of march continuing the trend of mild months another month well above normal uh, most of the month had daytime highs above freezing the average for the month two Celsius, which is a full four degrees above the normal of minus two Celsius. Only 17 centimeters of snow fell for the entire month. That is only 42% of normal. So amazing that in the first few days of April, we exceeded that amount very quickly. You can always get an updated forecast during the week at thesuburban.com under the blog tab, the Suburban Weather page. Until next week, I'm Stephen Bellina. Thanks for that, Steve. This is the Suburban Radio Hour. We'll be right back with sports editor Mark Lidbetter and his special guest, Chevrolet Cup Honorary President Kim St. Pierre. But first, let's go to the traffic desk.